What's up, my legends? So we are back with some Marvel Future Revolution. Now, I wanted to get into this. Um, I didn't have a lot of time because a lot of stuff actually happened. Final Fantasy, um, Tower Fantasy, this too many fantasies. <laughs> um, but we're here now and um, Magic has come out, but you can saw the title and uh, oh, something I'm going to tell you that's really crazy is that this is a good time to actually come back into this game because they balanced a little bit of what the problem was of uh, something that they imbalanced is they took away the ability to actually farm and um, get currency. And we used to farm basically with our alts and then, you know, delete our alts and then start over again. But they was like, nah, we don't like that. And they nerfed all of that. So that left us with not many ways to actually farm. So what they actually did, is, which one is it? Oh, no, it's on the wrong one. But however, see right here, they gave training. And what training does, it allows you to actively farm gold, EXP, and the items that you can use to like, you know, whether it be companion shards or um, gear shards or um, other items as well that's helpful for whatever um, event that's going on. And what you can essentially do is you can go into the training, as you guys can see, according to whatever level you have. And you're going to notice right here that, you know, we get the Omega, Omega Flight. You get a cost a four star costume thing which you can actually farm the same thing with your core boxes which you can actually farm and um training for your squad as well like this is really good stuff that we used to actually have to farm going through this essentially replaces the need for what we had to do as far as farm farming our alts to get all this stuff you can just go in here it is limited and um, you only have an active amount of time to actually do that. And you can see that it resets after a certain amount of time. Even with this uh, remaining time being kind of like, eh, it still, um, it, it gives you a gap. Because what would happen is, is that characters would get stuck between a certain type of gap. And you would have to go to a different character. You have to wait and do other things. Um, it fulfills that gap that we had and that that gap was what was making a lot of people kind of quit the game and not want to really play and stuff like that so um it's unfortunate that this just wasn't in the game from the start to be honest because it um, makes things a whole lot better and um speeds up your progression obviously and um and now the game is starting to round out into a more satisfactory type of game to have fun in and uh, you know just to have stuff fun. what character is around me that what target where oh people fighting it i want credit too give me credit um let's use the super That we both used our super. Hey, I got credit. I'll be taking no companion shards and everything else. That, and by the way, that's her special. Her super. She looks badass. Let me get in close so you can see it. Hey. All right. So let's run off and go do that. We're going to talk about her in a second, though. Um, she's an amazing character, by the way. Which I'm sure people are gonna be like, bruh, can you do this to everybody else? Like, make them fun. But back to the topic, it is extremely um, more, uh, what's the, the proper word? Streamlined. That is the proper word. It's more streamlined now for everybody. And that is a good thing because I guess everybody knew will not have the perspective that we all had coming in and hopefully maybe some older gamers and players will come back and realize that it's more smooth now and you know easily easier to do things um high level i'm gonna see high level um, i'm gonna see how that um actually works out but the reason why i haven't used up all my training time yet is because i want to put storm in there for the training because she's my main character and i'm just like level one um but i can tell you that it is extremely easy 
um, over the, uh, the course because you get so much. I actually took for a little bit. That's when my time is a little bit low. Uh, I actually took Magic in and like the stuff that I have on Magic right now. Like, it's just, you don't. When we first started this game, it wasn't this easy. It wasn't this easy. And I, like, the, the amount of, even though my account power is kind of high because I have a lot of high level characters, but it was it wasn't this easy to have this character like this. I don't even have four star stuff on right now. Like I have four star stuff in the bank. Matter of fact, while we're doing this, let's see what happens if I put the um the level forty stuff on. How high my power goes. Uh squad storage. Let's go get some forties. We got some forty stuff right here, right? Yep. Let's do that. You, you are 20, don't need you. Clicking stuff I don't need. What is this? This is, yep, this is a 40. Another 40. There's another 40. There's a 20, don't need you. And we'll just take that for now. Okay, and let's bring this out to some boots. Uh, do I want companion? Do I want this? Do I want this? Um, let's go companion. Now, if they really want money, they'll put Hell, hell, you already have her model in the game. Put America Chavez actually in the game. Everybody want to run around with that thickness. Or put Jean Grey. Put Jean Grey and do the Dark Phoenix Saga. Y'all y'all get everybody Marvel up in here. If y'all really want money in that Marvel. Just saying. Like, m magic is a really interesting choice. To say the least. There's nothing wrong with her as a character in this game. But the characters that you could have put in here... Like, hell, Gwen Stacy would probably have gotten y'all more money. Gwen Stacy, Jean, Psylocke, Rogue. Like, y'all had some choices that y'all could have put in here that would have been infinitely better. Alright, so, it didn't do that much power-wise. It put us up to, one, what was I at, 170? 170-something, 170 so what, 185 now? That's not bad. So let's talk about magic real quick. All right. So as you can see, this is kind of how I have her looking right now. Let's go into some customization right here. Her looks are interesting. Let the game rock out a little bit while I'm doing this. We'll, we'll keep it like that for now. This is some interesting looks. I don't. I don't think I want to change out of what. I, wait, I think I want to use this dough. All right, cancel all. Hmm. I think I want to use this one. This one. This that just looks amazing. And we'll just leave the boots. Yeah, that looks really cool. Now, as far as her skills, uh, let's just send her off to do that. Go kill people while we do this. So her first one right here we see is Aerial Slash, which is pretty good. Um, what you will see in this game is the mid to high stuff that says guard break medium will not do a lot of damage generally. And what you want to go for when you're actually playing in story it doesn't necessarily work everything else, but in story, but you want to go for stuff that has medium and high a lot because you'll break a lot of the enemies and do bigger damage. And that makes it easier when you're autoing and everything else. That's just my opinion. 
Um, you can do what you want because the stuff that's usually on the low side does more damage, but you're gonna take hits because you're not breaking and guard breaking, so. Yeah, um, it's one, that's the way I use Storm, where I literally almost auto every damn thing. Basically, because she breaks, right? She'll break and guard break stuff, including bosses. So, just something to um, put out there for you. So you have the Master of Abyss right here, which is also a medium, which you see I am actually using. So again, you see medium, medium. So I'm keeping the same, the same, the same tactics. Um, summon Limno is, which is amazing, right here. It brings that up. You can also, we can look at the next one. Some is a dragon. So he has some really interesting attacks. That's crazy. And let me do that for that one. This one too. Okay. Hey Storm. We'll be messing around with you later. All right, so we have Arcane Sword right here, which is a low right here, but when you change it over into this, it has a little bit of a windup, but it's actually kind of fast. So once I, um, oh, I can actually, yeah, I can actually put that on right now. Let's change that right now. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna bring that in for because that's a high and it has a big arc around you so she's gonna like pretty much knock them down and this works good on bosses because it's gonna guard break on the boss gauge as well and once you're higher it's gonna do pretty good damage like this is just good all the way around again you know for um storyline gameplay you should definitely think about using that you have this which i use a lot but you notice that this doesn't guard break a lot because it does a lot of hits but this is again good in story because it stays a very long time and um as you can see they're still getting hit their movement is actually slow it's probably going to be super good in pvp and force people to use up dodge and dodge gauge is just not have to deal with this which is excellent and you have this one which again same type of thing it causes confusion which definitely might be really good and then you have another pull right here. She has three different skills that pull. So that's going to be annoying in PvP. If somebody uses all three of those skills, you're not going to be able to get away from her. <laughs> Basically, you're going to have to use up dodge all the time. Along with that, um, the skill that I just showed you before. Actually, you know what? You can't. You can't have them at the same time. So that doesn't matter. Never mind. Yeah, you can't have them at the same time. It's the same skill. Still three dodges. This one is also interesting because what it's going to do is actually um, CC everybody and turn them into like small things. And it's also a medium on top of that. That's pretty crazy. See what I mean? They made her extremely good compared to the rest of the characters. She, like, she can do damn near everything. She's like Doctor Strange all over again. So you have Summon Legion there, which pretty much, is, as you can see, is going to call stuff out. That's also pretty amazing as well. I think I've been... What is my character doing? I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully I'm not dying. That sounds... Okay. I had to, I had to go make sure because it sounded like something was getting hype on me. It's probably going to do storyline stuff on me again. Okay, so we're going to summon um, Stepping Stone. All right, so here we go right here. So now she teleports to you. She has a lot of movement, as you guys can see. This one right here is amazing as well. Look at that. Um, this is probably going to be her nuke because it's at 399 damage right now. It's at low. And once you, once you level all this up, it's probably going to be like over 1,000. And this looks like it's range. So this is probably going to be her nuke, and you're going to um, definitely be using this a lot. This one is a medium as well. Looked at that one already. And then you have this one. And again, 
again this this whole um stepping sword is probably going to be your nuke right here i don't think the other ones that i don't think anything else is hitting any harder and this is a medium right here and that cooldown and stamina course is not a lot i, I don't understand why she's so good <laughs> this is that 26 right there like that's not a lot of stamina it's pretty crazy all right so then you have um some in demon hand which i'm not that big of a fan of but the next one over is legion and again cooldown not that not that bad cooldown a little high not not that bad but 23 stamina that's lower than the other one and it's 271 just um, like again like bruh like what is happening and then this is a nuke but this is high this is high cooldown and high stamina so i i'm not doing this and it doesn't look like she had oh did i look at this one and this is just you know hand is a medium break it has a large range and it's a little bit easier to deal with on the cooldown and everything else but it also stuns which is nice too so you definitely want to think about that one and then you just have your basics and then the special that i showed you right there she she's amazing now the one thing that i did notice um she doesn't have stamina regen nowhere that i've seen i mean let me just make sure of that okay that applies attack um yeah i don't i don't see stamina regen anywhere here she can't actually be tanky though. Like no damage received. Like that's that's pretty nice right there. And it, it is not expensive. Like, well, 26 is actually kind of high. That is kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. I I don't see anywhere that she regains stamina. So she's gonna stamina starve unless you use um your skills properly. Right, attack. Um, burns. Nope. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anywhere that she regains stamina. So, and I don't think that we have any um, items in the game that do that. So that's probably where she is gonna. Um, struggle a little bit you're going to be stamina starved so you know you just you're going to have to choose your build wisely you can't just go spamming everything you're just going to be running around auto attacking all day and that yeah have fun <laughs> have fun with that all right so just run around and on one because one will allow you to see all of the goodies oh 45 We'll be taking that. I want to take advantage of the hero level up event. See her close. Like, you just, like, I don't have to do nothing. Like, I don't have to do anything. Granted, this is still early in the game. But just the way that she works, she just hits hard and covers so much range that this I'm probably not going to have to do anything. Actually control her until like level 70. She's probably going to be able to auto everything up until level 70. Um, maybe I'll have to do... Uh, I think there's a boss at 56. I think Thanos I'm going to have to control. It's just the way that fight is. AI is not going to be able to handle that. But I think beyond it, I'll still be able to auto all the way up to 70. And then I'll have to start paying attention for stuff like Finra. We definitely can't do that with Laffy. Laffy, you can't. You, even, even at my level where I am now with Storm, I still have to control with Laffy. Because Laffy just freezes you and then nukes your face off. So that... Uh, there's nothing AI is going to be able to do about that. Now, you can probably DPS kill him, but I'm probably not strong enough to do it yet. Getting there, though.
Okay, so we can end it. Um, I think I'm strong enough for this, right? I'll stop that for now. There's the Sinister Six um, Epic Invasion. Could do this with Storm, but it's not going to be fun if I do that with Storm. Now, this is part of the um, problem still with these types of games is because mobile can't handle, and I don't know why these companies don't understand that, mobile can't handle that many people in the area. And that's kind of what's happening right now with, um, oh, I'm definitely way strong enough for this. Uh, what's happening right now with Tower of Fantasy uh, you just, it's not that Tower of Fantasy is necessarily a bad game, but it's getting a lot of flack because people are lagging and stuff like that. Mobile is not designed to have that many people at the same place at the same time. It's not a PC. It's not a PC network. I think I'm probably too strong for this, so we'll get to the next one. I'll call my pet out. My pet is like being cheese right now too. I can't wait till I get one of the other um, higher level companions to be um, to get out here. It's possible. You just gotta farm. Okay, Mysterio. Dang. Okay, let's try the next one. Oh, what was this, 10? Yep. I didn't even think that they had um, level 10. So the next one's gonna be 20. Or 40. Aw. I gotta clear out her inventory. We're not gonna do this. Because I want to summon, so let's finish it on the summon. But what I want to summon on is companions. Since the game made it easier to actually get outfits, then we're not going to worry about that right now. Nice. I'll save that for if there's a new character coming or something like that in the future. Um... Since it's actually no, since it's actually easier to get, you know, um, outfits now, I won't worry about this. And they they give you, they give you this outfit for free basically for Spider Man, so you can get that look. This is what we trying to do. We we trying to get some some companions out here. All right, so I have enough. Uh, we do have one ticket, so um, I'm hopeful. Because you need, uh, we got somebody new. We got a bunch of people new. Or at least two. Like, look at this pretty girl. Put this girl in the game. Oh, wow. We got Gilgamesh. Nice. It'd be nice to um, um get him out here. Because I already have him. So I wonder... Um, yeah, I got his shards. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, And this is Uncorrupted Ultron. Enhanced Ultron. Okay. Let's see if we got... Right, this event, I'll take that. 
So that's another reason why you um we got a long time to do this, but you definitely want to do this because there's a bunch of free stuff along with this currency right here just for leveling up magic. And trust me, you can get to 100 easy, easy right now, guys, like super easy. So before we get out of here, I know this ended up being way longer than I wanted to. But, you know, things happen. All right, Gilgamesh. Um, manage. Can I upgrade you? I can level you up, but can. Damn, I need 20 more. 20 more. See, this is why I only want to go summoning for companions now, because another 20. I'll actually be able to um, use him as a summon, kind of like how my big dude is, and Gilgamesh is some cheese. He's really good as a summon, so. And that, um, to get these shards right here, also, oh, we need more, also levels up your power, so. Leveling all of your, your companions and your summons, as you can see, they give um, fixed stats that also level up your um, power. So you can actually use them on lower level characters as well. So the characters end up being stronger, makes things easier. Well, so it's, it's kind of like, as long as you have your, um, your companions and everything else, you can get to 100, no problem, guys. After that, is a problem so <laughs> i'll catch you guys next video um be legendary and um now is definitely a good time to come back into this it's pretty fun peace thank you legends for getting to the end of the video we do three to four videos every day don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so it can be first in notification squad i love everybody who stops by and i will see you next video peace